Greetings Earthlings, I'm Alan Boyle with GeekWire and we're just about to take a ride in Kaimeta's connected car which has an antenna that will provide us internet connectivity via satellite. Let's go! Hi, I'm David Fotheringham, product manager at Kaimeta. I am the I'm, I'm the Kaimeta connected car driver for the day here in the uh, Kalo uh, connected RAV4. So we're out driving around in a car with a satellite antenna on the roof hooked up to the Kalo network providing broadband internet everywhere we go. Uh, and David, you've been driving this car for how many miles? We're coming up on 7,000 miles of driving. So been out on the road for just uh, about two weeks now and covered the country from Washington DC to the south tip of Florida to Chicago to LA and back uh, up to Seattle here over the weekend. And the whole time you've been connected via that satellite connection yep. on, I, from the Kaimeta antenna that's on top. Yeah, ev everywhere I went around the country I was able to connect uh, to the internet via satellite uh, all along the way. And you mentioned uh, Skype call so I just thought I would uh, try to make a Skype call and uh, I've got it set up just to call home. Uh, we'll start the call and see if we get going. Right, and this is through the satellite connection. So, uh... Hello? Hi, this is me, Alan. I'm calling you from uh, Satellite Connected Car. I can hear you, but you, you do sound a little far away. <laughs> a little far away. That may be because I'm on speakerphone, but uh, I um, uh, and uh, the signal is having to go up something like 22,000 miles and come back, and so there's a little bit of latency involved. But uh, how are things going there? Uh, are you there? Reconnecting. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, we've got a yellow light. So we're still receiving a signal, but our transmit is being interrupted by those trees. So it's, Oh, that's interesting so, that the trees can yeah, uh, we're, we're cause... Pr we're pretty far north here in Seattle. We're, mm -hmm. we're, so we're scanning down. The, the signal is actually the beams pointing down about... What's this number here for uh, theta? Uh, 50, 55.41 right now. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive that we have a beam that actually tilts over and it's tilting down 55 degrees from uh, broadside. So it's pointing down this way. So any tree or line of sight blockage in that direction of the satellite will actually impede the signal. So what's the future for uh, getting cars connected? What is the expected technological route? Uh, making smaller antennas? Yeah, there's and two, two big things that are going to happen. The antenna is going to get smaller and there's a new s satellite constellation or new satellite constellations going up for low Earth orbit satellites. So instead of having to look that way to look close to horizon from Seattle uh, to the south, you're talking about looking vert vertical, just straight up. So mm -hmm. the tree issue is diminished uh, dramatically. You're, mm -hmm. you're talking much, much less issues with uh, line of sight blockages from trees. So that, that one gets pretty much erased. And then the satellites, as they move in close to the Earth, the amount of energy that's needed to actually push the signal up is, is also reduced. So you're talking, you can make them mechanically much smaller. Uh, and are there particular partners you're working on when it comes to LEO satellites? Because you've got SpaceX, you've got OneWeb, you've got, I think, Viasat, uh, and SES is working on it. Uh, mm -hmm. What can you say about uh, what you might expect uh, to see in terms of partnerships for that. I can say that they all need a scanning, a, a, a consumer grade, uh, high volume production scanning antenna like Kaimeta is building. Every single one of them will need this type of technology and we're the first to market with it. Uh, so so I, all of the above all, potentially. All of the above would benefit from this antenna. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this drive around courtesy of Kaimeta and this thing up here it's about the size of a stop sign but it's provided our connectivity while we were on the road. I would say that we haven't reached our final destination yet in terms of satellite service that there's more yet to be done but I have every confidence that they're going to get there. So for GeekWire I'm Alan Boyle telling you to watch the skies.